My mom is really old school, coming from like DR. Since I'm like the youngest and the only girl, like if I want to go to a college far away, she's probably going to say no. But if that's what I really want, I'm pretty sure I'll make it happen. What's your last name, Christian? Christian. And what's your last name? What is that for? All right, can y'all all come to the S area? No. The point of the Student Success Center is to get help from for college. Whenever y'all need help with the college process, y'all could come to me and I can help you. All of y'all want to go to college, right? and I go to school at South Shore. What's up, coach? I play sports and I think about, like, every time I get the ball, like, I have to think about my college career, scholarships, and all that. So what happened today at the game? We lost. We were mentally beat today. I live with my sister because um, my mom is incapable of taking care of me. Take a shower. My sister does have two children. I know that's a lot for her to take in. Here. I babysit my nieces and I help them after school as well. Later. I would be devastated if I didn't go to college because I would automatically think, how am I gonna get a good job? How am I gonna provide for my family? I know it's gonna be hard. It's more complicated to apply to college in this country than it ever has been before. We're now asking the students who have the most to deal with, we're asking them to understand more than anybody else and we're asking them to do it without enough counselors to guide them through it. So where we're at is that the people who need the most counseling have the least. All right, here you move. Don't be pushing This past summer, Cara trained 70 young people to work with their peers around the college process. The idea is to train on very specific things like how to fill out a college application, how to file for financial aid, how to counsel the students that they work with. Today we're going to focus on the counseling part of your role as a youth leader. Nice. Is my body language good? Yeah. It's yeah. Good. I just need to work on I silence. I like this. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I do need to listen more on this. Here we go. <laughs> gotta listen. Your journeys are going to be altered based on what you learn here and what you practice at your sites every single day. Come on. Senior year, of course it will be important. It will actually be one of the most important years I will ever have. Get comfortable, put your book back somewhere if you want to, because it's gonna take a while. I need to be very smart with my actions because a lot of people will be counting on me. A lot of people will trust me with the award, with the college application. On Monday at 1.30, I want to see you next, uh, next door. We're going to be giving um, uh, college information and a representative from college is coming. Like today, just like today. Remember? 
Nestor. Hey, don't miss it. Don't disappoint me, Raina. You see this program, College Board? College Board can do magic for you. You want to go to a four years college or a two years college? Four years college. You know what's the difference between a four and a two year college? I would have to find a way to balance my time in work, my school work, my college application work, and also sports. It's a challenge I'm willing to take. Why do you miss the SAT? This is the last free free wave you're going to have. So next time you're going to have to pay for it. I think that a lot of people have this misunderstanding that young people don't want to go to college, that they're lazy, that they're unmotivated, when in fact if you scratch the surface, it has nothing to do with an aspiration problem, it has to do with the supports to fulfill those aspirations and that's where right now as a society we're failing young people. Ay, right, vamonos. The entrance, you know, the entrance is always weird. So as Mr. Hickson told you guys, we'll be assisting you guys with the whole college process. Any questions you have about college, you come, you come to us, feel free. And I understand that you guys completed, actually you guys started your college essays already, right? I wrote about like, moving to um, America from my own country. You can write about pretty much anything that you um, feel is a, an interesting topic that you want to do in your life. I wrote about how every time I'd come home from school and middle school, um, my mom wouldn't be there. I would be mad at God, you know? Like, why would God not have my mom home and not like take care of me? And as time went on, I just realized like, maybe, maybe I shouldn't be upset, you know? Because it's not changing. So I should just start thinking positive so I won't have to put myself through something so devastating, right? So that's what I wrote about. Like I wrote about how I had to change myself for the better. No hay servilleta aquí. Aquí hay más servilleta. My mom is really old school, coming from like the DR. Since I'm like the youngest and the only girl, like if I want to go to a college far away, she's probably going to say no. But if that's what I really want, I'm pretty sure I'll make it happen. I only got this so far. The highest level of education my parents had was up to elementary. All they know is to work, either in the farm or when they came to the United States, working in factories, and my father in like a bodega. And they didn't have the opportunity to go to college like me. Okay, so you're still having problems with your tenses. You keep going past and future tense on things that don't need it. Today we're going to continue ACT registration. It's pretty similar to how you register for SAT. Oh no, the, for this one or this one? This one. Oh, this one. Right. It's better because you can do it now. Being a youth leader, you carry a lot of responsibilities because everything you say impacts them. Like, what if you send them to the wrong school or like give them the wrong advice? It is nerve-wracking. Here, Christine, have them start again. You good? I'm okay. Yeah, I don't have a class. So. Why don't you have a class? Because, you know, I passed all my classes. You know you. I got no regents to take. You know you, Shantana. Well, the way I can bring up the whole college idea is like in simple discussion. Have you guys um, received, like, have you guys even thought about who's going to make your recommendation letters? This whole college process is very difficult for me. It, it is. is. It's your first year. Exactly. And this is my second, second year, actually. Year. But being that I've never really been in this high school for more than one year, I really don't have relationships with a lot of people. When you're a friend, like you can, you can just talk about, you can just bring it up whenever because you guys do have that relationship. Put it on the door. <laughs> like, yeah. who, like who needs permission, you know? <laughs> to just tape stuff to doors. Do you plan on coming? Do you plan yeah, on going. coming? And what about you? Laj, are you going? <laughs> yeah, I'm going. Cuzzo. Cuzzo, oh, pal. Yeah, I'm going. It's not you. Yeah. <laughs> They are saying it's not enough for just me to go. My community needs to go. My school needs to go. They are the ones who are stepping up to make College for All a reality. I will be helping my own friends. So it's something serious. 
You're making a promise. You are making a promise. I would do whatever it takes to, you know, help them with everything I can. In a year, you guys will be heading off to college soon, and you're probably not like thinking about it right right now. Like you're you're thinking about it, but you're not where we are at it. Like I'm scared, really scared right now about college. It's never good for you to be the only one striving. I think it'd be a lonely place, like on the throne, if you didn't have like your friends with you. I don't know what it is that I want, so it's okay not to make a major. There's a gap in our school, in our system. I will guide you with your college process. We're helping close that gap.